Hello everyone, welcome back to Sketch by Sketch. Today we're going to be finishing up this painting that I started, let's see, it's probably been two weeks ago, um, and as you can see, I've done a little bit more than since you last saw this, I just didn't record it. So pretty much, um, if you want to see the whole process, just go back and watch the video, but this drawing didn't go as planned, I started using an airbrush, and then I started painting, and then I just started swirling paint, so that's kind of what we stuck with, this paint swirling, I just kind of sung it on there straight out of the bottle and I just that's the only thing that I've done since the last video is add a bit more um, paint I went to the store that night actually and bought some more yellow paint because I ran out and I think that that really brightened it up and made it look really cool okay so in today's video we're pretty much just gonna be doing the fretboard and cleaning this thing up just a little bit so um, this one's gonna be a little bit shorter um, we're pretty much I've got a plan at this point hopefully nothing goes um, amiss like last time so today this is pretty much just all we're doing so I'm wanting uh, this fretboard to look just like the guitar um, I decided to not like put anything on the actual body of the guitar like pickups or a bridge I kind of just wanted to leave it more abstract um, with the paint swirls but I did want the fretboard to still look like the fretboard so I'm gonna put the frets in and I'm gonna put the little designs in so I'm just starting off by using a dark brown color, um, that's typically what these guitars have. Um, some of them have lighter wood, but I wanted to go with the darker today to really contrast. So now I'm, that I've got the base color, I'm going to mix in some white with that color just to add kind of like a, a different texture to the wood. I'm just kind of going in back and forth here, just creating a little texture. Again, this is nowhere near realistic. This is just very abstract. So just kind of trying to create some grains in the wood, but nothing um, super crazy here. And just to clean up those edges, I'm making sure my brush is very clean. And then I'm just kind of swiping it along with some water and just kind of blending it into the page. If you mess up, then this is something you can do. And then, of course, you can go over with white paint if it doesn't cover up all the way. All right, now I'm waiting for that layer to dry. And now that it is, I'm going to take this metallic uh, paint for the frets. It ended up not being um, super light, so it didn't show up that good. But I really like the metallic look of it, so I decided to keep using it. And again, this isn't super technical, so I didn't measure in between the frets or anything like that. I did count them as I was going up to get roughly the right amount um, for this angle, but um, of course it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just kind of going along and trying to space them as much as I know how. And I'm really kind of just uh, putting this paint on there kind of thick because it is kind of dark. It's not very bright. I was hoping for the silver to kind of pop out a little bit more, but so I'm going to kind of glob it on there and um, hopefully it looks a little bit more raised up than the other paint and um, you'll be able to kind of see the sparkles. Okay, now it's time to start adding the designs on the fretboard. So I'm going to be using pink, um, green and yellow here so um, if you haven't seen this guitar I'll try to put a picture in right here and you can see kind of like these little inlays in the fretboards are kind of like a little prism and they include all three colors so um, when I did this I really wasn't looking at a reference so they're not exact but you still get the idea it's abstract so it's okay so I'm just kind of going in and numbering the frets here um, if you don't play guitar, then I guess that doesn't matter which ones they're on. But I did try to keep that technically correct. Um, and I didn't end up actually putting strings on this. I just thought it might take away from the look. I'm not sure. I might go back in later and do it. I'm just not really sure what I want to do there if I want to add the strings or not. But for now, this is what we're doing. And I just alternated between the green and the pink. Um, and now I'm going to go in and kind of add like the sides to make them look actually like a prism. Um, and I'm just doing that with alternating colors as well.
And now I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. I think the yellow really brightens it up and makes it really stand out and look cool. All right, I think that's looking really cool. Now I'm gonna just brighten up those frets a little bit by mixing a little bit of the metallic with some white. And I'm just gonna go in kind of like in the middle of them and just kind of add some highlights and shine. All right, guys. About to finish up the painting just kind of going back in and finishing up some details all right now I'm gonna do the last step I thought the background needed just a little bit of something extra so I'm going to just swirl some white paint right on top. You can't really see what I'm doing here. But I just did that to kind of match the guitar but not be a color so it doesn't distract. So I just used white and I think it makes it look really cool in 3D. Alright guys, here's the finished painting. I know it's very messy and very abstract, but I really love it. I can't wait to hang it on my wall and when I do, I will definitely post a picture of it. But thanks so much for watching and following along this crazy painting. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!